Hello, brothers and sisters. Uh, this is Christina speaking. Today is uh, January 14, 2023, and I hope you are doing well. And so I have a message from the Lord, but before I share it, I want to confess that I believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God who has come in flesh on earth and died for our sins and was buried and rose on the third day. Hallelujah. Amen. Before I give you the message of today, the Lord wants me to lead Luke 12, verse 40. Therefore, you also be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Amen? This is the Word of God, brothers and sisters. The rapture is about to happen. The Lord talked about the conditions you must meet if you wish to be taken. Of course, you must live a holy life. The Lord gave me a scripture, Revelation 22 from verse 10 to 17. And pay attention to verse 14 because it is the condition. I'm going to read it to you. Blessed are those who do his commandments, that they might have the right to the tree of life, and might enter through the gates into the city. This is the condition. Please read from verse 10 to 17 in order to understand this condition brothers and sisters i hope you are watching praying and ready every day i hope you are keeping your eyes fixed on the lord jesus christ alone in doing what he wants you to do until the end for those who don't believe in the rapture it is your choice, but you must understand that everything that is written will come to pass. The rapture is written in the Bible. If you don't believe in the rapture, you reject the word of God, the truth. You reject God himself. You will have to go through tribulation and you will shed your own blood. Those who will refuse to take the mark of the beast, most of them will be killed. I hope you change your mind, you read your Bible, you believe in the word of God, you turn to the Lord and repent before it is too late. Time is very, very short. I am going to share with you two dreams I had from the Lord a few days ago. I'm going to start with one I had on January night. I'm going to talk about Haynes Ministries. This is Steve and Susan Haynes Ministry. Before I go through the message, I want to mention that personally I know nothing about this ministry. I know nothing about the teachings. The Lord gave me this message and he wanted me to deliver it as quickly as possible. I tried to make a video for two days and unfortunately I couldn't because I was under attack please pray for me understand that I am not here to judge anyone and I hope you don't judge either no one is perfect we all have sinned and this is why 
the Lord is calling each person to turn to him and repent before it is too late. God does not wish anyone to perish. I understand that you might be offended by this message. If so, the Lord Jesus Christ wants you to take time, pray, and seek him. I also do expect that many will attack me. If so, then let it be. Understand that I must obey God. I also want to share that I found out Susan, Stevie's wife, passed away a few days ago. This is so sad. My sympathy to this family. And so, um, on January night, I had a dream in which I saw Haynes Ministry with uh, Steve and Susan's picture in front of me. At the same time, I was taken to the house. At the house, I only saw Steve. He was talking to a group of people. This group of people was hidden. I couldn't see them. At that moment, the Lord said to me, tell them to repent and be ready because I am about to return. Here, the Lord was talking about the rapture that is about to happen, not the second coming, brothers and sisters. And so I started giving the message to Steve. While I was giving him the message, I saw his wife, Susan, working towards me. She wanted to talk to me. Next to her, there was a line of the cross. She was sailing the cross and she wanted me to buy some cross. I remember I took one and asked her how much it will cost. She said $10 and then the dream ended. So I went into prayer because I was not too sure about the dream because of Susan who appeared in the dream. I knew she passed away. And so um, I doubted about the dream I had to rebuke it because I thought it came from the enemy. The Bible forbids us to communicate with the dead. And that is why I rebuked it. I remember I said that if the dream was from God, then he will bring it again. I went back to sleep after a few minutes. I had this dream again. And so I knew that the Lord was trying to tell me something. And so I woke up. I prayed. Seeking in the Lord for
for discernment and understanding of the dream. The Lord gave me two messages. One is about Susan who appeared in a dream. And so the Lord said that the devil is clever. The devil appeared in the dream as a Susan because he wanted me to believe that the dream was not from God but the enemy so that I will not share it. Satan does not want people to repent, brothers and sisters. The Lord said that Satan knows the scriptures and also he knows that I am aware that communicating with the dead is a sin and so he wanted me to reject the dream not to share it. It is true the Bible provides us to communicate with the dead. The Lord gave me a few scriptures which I'm, I'm going to uh, to share with you, brothers and sisters. He gave me Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 5. I'm going to read verse 5. For the living know that they will die, but the dead know nothing, and they have no more reward for the memory of them is forgotten. You can read verse 5 and 6. He also gave me 2 Corinthians 11 verse 14. It says, And no wonder, for Satan himself transforms himself into a ninja of light. He also gave me Luke 16 from verse 19 to 31. This is the parable of the rich man. The Lord wants you to read all these scriptures, brothers and sisters. He said that Susan, who appeared in the dream, was the devil. Brothers and sisters, We are not allowed to communicate with the dead. If you are doing that, you must turn to the Lord and repent before it is too late. This is a sin. God hates sin. A sinner will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. The dead cannot come back. I hope you understand. Now I'm going to give you the message for Steve and his family, his followers, his friends, and those who are associated with his ministry. The Lord said, Steve and your family must turn to the Lord and repent and be ready because the Lord is about to return. This is the rapture that is about to happen. Also, the Lord wants you, Steve, to take the responsibility to call 
your followers, your friends, and those who are associated with your ministry. You tell them to repent and be ready before it is too late. The rapture is about to happen. God collects the one he loves. This is Hebrews 12, verse 6. I prayed and asked the Lord to give you the scriptures to help you to understand the reason why the Lord wants you to repent. I'm going to share with you the scriptures he gave me. It is very, very important, all of you, to sit down and read all these scriptures, pray, and take everything to the Holy Spirit. These scriptures are from the Lord Jesus Christ himself, not from me. And he wants you to lead them. And this is how you get into connection with him. He gave me two Chronicles 25th from verse 1 to 4. I'm going to read verse 2. And he did what was right in the sight of the Lord, but not with a loyal heart. Please read all these verses from verse 1 to 4. The Lord gave me Job 20 from verse 14 to 28. Psalm 128 verse 6. Jeremiah 7, Mark 7, verse 6 and 7, and verse 20 and 23. I'm going to read verse 6 and 7. These people honors me with their lips, but their heart is far from me, and in vain they worship me teaching as doctrines the commandments of men. Please read the whole scripture. He also gave me Jeremiah 21, verse 13 and 14. He gave me Isaiah 59 and Ezekiel 37. I'm going to uh, talk about uh, Ezekiel 37, what the Lord said about this scripture, the very dry bones. The Lord said that his people is working on the world, on the earth but they are dead so long. His people is working on the earth, but they are dead so long. Can these bones live? This is the question from Ezekiel in this scripture. And this was my question too to the Lord. Can these bones live? The Lord said to me, tell my people to turn to me and repent. And I will forgive them and they will live again. The Lord said to me, tell my people to turn to me and repent and I will forgive them and they will live again. 
this is what the Lord said about Ezekiel 37 and I believe he was talking about the spiritual deed brothers and sisters this is the message I hope you take this message very serious pray and seek the Lord and repent before it is too late brothers and sisters Luke 13 verse 3 Jesus says I tell you no but unless you repent you will all likewise perish understand that God does not wish anyone to perish first John 1 verse 9 if we confess our sins he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins those are the scriptures the Lord gave me for this ministry and those who are associated with this ministry and their followers and their families. I read all these scriptures and I was shocked. I hope you take time and you read them, turn to the Lord and repent. Now I'm going to share with you a short dream I had from the Lord on January 4th. I had a short dream in which I saw the Lord standing in front of me with his bride. The, the woman was in her wedding dress. Her wedding dress was white as snow. I have never seen something white like that. The dream ended. The Lord gave me the scriptures. Revelation 22 verse 17. And the spirit and the bride say, come. Revelation 19 verse 9. Rest are those who are called to the marriage supper of the Lamb. He also gave me Matthew 22. You might read this scripture in order to understand about those who are invited to the marriage supper of the Lamb. Brothers and sisters, everything is ready. The rapture is about to happen. The Lord is coming for his bride and those who are a part of the bride, the righteous. He also gave me Isaiah 26. From verse 19 to 21, this is about the rapture. Isaiah 35, verse 10. Psalm 33, verse 20 to 21. Psalm 126, verse 2. Isaiah 49, verse 13, Psalm 28, verse 7. I hope you share this message, brothers and sisters. You pray for one another. If you have not given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, turn to him right now. Accept and receive him as your God and Savior. Believe and repent all your sins before it is too late. Time is very, very short. You must be born again in order to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Be baptized of water and spirit, which means you love God, you obey him, and you keep his commandments day and night. You stay out of sin. Brothers and sisters, 
love one another. Put Jesus Christ above all. Love him more than anything. And then love one another. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. If you do that, you are keeping all the commandments of God. God loves you all. Understand that you must have a personal relationship with the King of the Kings, Jesus Christ, our God and Savior. Each person must have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ because he alone is God and Savior. Jesus is the only way. There is no other way. John 14, verse 6. Please share this video. God bless you.